today I'm going to make a drum key for this Heyman, it's actually a George Heyman early uh, model uh, vibrasonic snare drum. If you guys aren't familiar with these drums, they're really excellent drums out of England. It's a 5x14 um, Ken Lug. Uh, excellent sound. Anyway, uh, the keys are slotted, so it takes a special key, and I don't have the key, but I do have a sonor key, but of course it doesn't fit, because that little line in there, the screwdriver part, is too thick. So since necessity is the mother of invention, I'm going to remove this round sleeve off this key. I'm going to heat it up with my oxyacetylene torch and, you know, grind down that screwdriver section and then reinstall that. That way I have a drum key. Okay, let's get started. All right, I've got the uh, key in my vise. And uh, I'm just going to take this bar here and try to remove it without heating it up. Let's see how that works. Oh, it came right off. Okay, great. Um, Sonor uh, usually makes pretty darn quality stuff. But this is, I think, their cheap stuff. Which, that's why I don't care if I demolish this key because it's just not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here to the grinder and uh, shave it down a little bit to where it fits this. These uh, heads on this uh, drum here. Position this thing just right. Let's try that. Yeah, now it fits in there pretty good, so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I just ground off some of the thickness of it. And uh, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually try to silver solder this back on there. So let me get my silver solder out and we'll continue. I'm not really that concerned about this drum key, so if something goes wrong in the soldering process, this is not a big deal. I, I'm just looking for, uh, you know, a key that works. So I'm going to tap that back on there. I'm going to fire up my torch. And uh, see what happens here. Torch going too hot. So I don't want it really hot at all. Just enough to, uh, you know, solder this thing on here. Now, what I usually do when I'm silver soldering is I, I get this silver solder rod, heat it up, and uh, then I dunk it in this flux. 
coat it with flux. That makes it stick. And um, then we'll see it so you can see the flux is on there. I'm just going to, whoops. We lost our uh, oxygen now. There we go. So we'll just heat this thing up real good here. Like I say, I really don't care about this tea. Just trying to get it mounted back on there again. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, turn it back over. And it's the other side, although it doesn't really need it. Just uh, do it anyway. All right, let me fire that torch up and carry on here. Okay, there we are. Let's heat that rod up. Maybe that was a little too hot, no big deal. Now we'll just heat this up here. I've got it a little bit cooler this time. That should work. Just enough to hold it on there, really. Because like we don't really care about this key. Okay, we'll turn that off there. And I'm going to let it cool for a minute, and then we're going to buff it out. All right, well, before I buff it out, I think I'll uh, try it. Why not, right? So we'll slip it in there. Look at that. Perfect. I mean, why spend 20 or 30 bucks on a key and have it sent over from England? You can just make one. I'm big into making parts at work. Um, some parts on these old snare drums I work on from the 30s, 20s, I have to repair the parts because you can't find these things. You just can't. Um, so I'll be getting into some of those uh, real soon here. Um, all right, let me, let me buff this out and I'll show you what I do. Just take it over here to the wheel and clean it up real quick. Just gets all the oxide funkiness off of it. Then I got these buffing wheels here. You put rouge on them.
so all right well it looks fine okay he's got a little bit of heat uh evidence of heat but who cares it's a it's a workable key and it's just a um something i can use now it was useless before um so now i can tune my drum you guys uh if you're not familiar with this Heyman stuff they made great drums um mitch mitchell played them um john heisman a lot of players uh jazz players played them and um they were coated with this white paint inside which tended to crack and you can kind of see in there that it does show evidence of cracking but man this drum it gets a very dry funky sound which i prefer on some things i'll do a video demonstration of it um you know down the road but um might want to get familiar with these drums i had this sent over from england and um <laughs> i got it out of the box put it on my set and i didn't do anything to it i didn't even tune it man the thing sounded fantastic already uh, it's got like a ludwig sort of a tone control i have it barely touching the head and uh, he had these pure sound snare wires on it you know they sound okay so uh, that's it for this one i just wanted to do a short video on that give you an idea of what uh you can do if you if you need something you might as well make a part okay well stay tuned for uh, more videos i'm always doing something around here all right take care